folks, Chris here. Time for another movie about the 2008 BMW X3 E83. Today I want to go over my top 10 hacks for the BMW X3. All right, the first hack I want to talk about is in the front of the car. And this is the LED uh, angel eye lights. So if you happen to have one that, uh, a model that has the xenon light option included, you get these uh, angel eye lights and the ones that come with it are actually incandescent bulbs. I switched mine over to LED. I have a video that shows how to do that. And I think they look much, much better. Um, it'd be great if they could be daytime running lights. Uh, you actually need to get the e-light solution to turn these into daytime running lights. And so that takes me to my second favorite hack about the BMW uh, that I have for the BMW X3 E83 the e-light module, which allows you to use your angel eyes as daytime running lights, just the way the new BMWs do. So now when my BMW comes down the road, the angel eye daytime running lights are showing just like everyone else's. All right, the third hack I wanna show on the BMW X383, that's my favorite, is inside here. And so I'm doing some work on the computer right now. But I could show this. It's the AudioVox DICE interface to the multimedia uh, system. I'm just going to find the AudioVox DICE uh, iPod integration for BMW on eBay used uh, for a reasonable price. Uh, this particular model BMW has the DSP converter and on some forms you might read that you need to actually uh, buy the DSP converter to if you have the DSP on your BMW, but you actually don't need that. So it just plugs directly into a harness under the armrest. Um, so the, the AudioVox integration uh, comes up here in your selection, and you actually don't have to give up your aux in as well. I'm gonna show that as, as well in just a second. So there's the aux that still works, there's the radio, and then Here's my, uh, well, it's actually right now set to uh, Sirius XM, and I'll talk about that in a second, my fourth favorite hack. Uh, but this does have the iPod interface. You can see down here, I actually have the cable to the iPod down here coming out my emergency brake boot, and the iPod's just down there. It's just an old iPhone 8 gig, and I just use that as my uh, multimedia 8 gig server. So that's my third favorite hack. And then my fourth favorite hack, for the BMW X3 E83 is the Sirius XM integration for the AudioVox DICE uh, BMW integration. So I have a uh, Sirius XM here and I actually bought a tuner on eBay that has a lifetime subscription so I get free Sirius XM radio without doing anything. So you can see I have it on channel 17 Pop Rocks right now. So that's my fourth favorite hack for the BMW X3 E83. All right, now my fifth favorite hack for the BMW X3 E83 comes again courtesy of the e-light module and since we're in here I'll just show you where the e-light module actually goes if I were to open my glove box and pull it down further uh, there's a place you can integrate the e-light module back there and it actually has a little sensor you can see up in the in the lower windshield there it has a little sensor for another uh, function that it does with approach lights I'll talk about that in a little bit but the e-light actually will allow you to change the locking scheme for the car. So one of my biggest, um, I guess, pet peeves about the car before was that to get out of the car, you had to either hit the one lock button in the whole car here to get out or do a double, double pull on your handle here. But the e-light is actually nice because you can see, actually, I'm locked here. But if you have the car on and you can set it in the e-bit in the e-light module so I could just take my key out like that and now you can see my door lock is open so that's something that a lot of x3 owners are going to actually uh, say wow I wish I could have that so that's my fifth favorite hack for the BMW x3 e83 All right, time to go on to my sixth favorite hack for this car the BMW x3 e83 and that's around back here and I showed this this video a while back on how to defeat the muffler baffle, but one of the muffler baffles actually, one of the muffler pipes actually has a baffle which closes at low speeds and idle and things like that. Uh, I think it's a sound emissions thing, but you can actually set it so that that doesn't happen. And what happened with mine was it started making this rattling noise, which I couldn't really fix. I was looking around and trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. 
and then just randomly I happen to go back here and take this panel off and if you go back in there uh, there's a little electrical connector which will actually control the vacuum actuator that opens and closes this baffle and when you unplug that the baffle just stays open the rattle went away and some people actually have tried this and told me that they feel like they hear a little bit more grunt at low rpm or when the car is not really moving uh, they actually like it a lot better because it'll you know pick up a little bit so that's my next favorite hack for the bmw x3 ea so the next hack i want to show is actually back inside this is for the audio input and as a lot of you know there under here is a uh, little thing you can open up and there's access to the if i can open it stereo 3.5 millimeter well, you can actually run it back in through the armrest and have it come out the emergency brake boot, which is what I did. So it's just a little cleaner uh, way to have your auxiliary cable come up to the front where you usually use it. Uh, and the nice thing about that AudioVox DICE integration is you don't lose this audio in interface. So I actually use both. Uh, sometimes I'll use my phone, I'll hook it up for Waze or for a podcast. And then I have that eight gig iPhone uh, just for my other music and stuff like that. Plus I have the Sirius. So overall, I've been really happy with the AudioVox Dice interface. I bought it used, didn't cost that much, and it really enabled a lot more things with the sound system. So I believe that's the seventh, uh, my seventh favorite hack for the BMW X3 E83. All right, so for my eighth favorite hack for the BMW X3 E83, I'm gonna go out in the in the front seat again and the car's a little dirty so bear with it and this hack again comes courtesy of the e-light the e-light settings is to enable the euro flash so you can euro flash that way you can euro flash that way it's a common feature on new cars wasn't available apparently on the 2008 X3, but with the E-Lite you can enable it. So that's my eighth favorite hack for the BMW X3 E. All right, so for my ninth favorite hack, I'm gonna have to get out of the car again, take the key out, and this is the E-Lite again. This is the ability to set up approach lights or to set a little light show for your lock and unlock function. So you saw that one uh, sensor that I had over here, uh, right down there that was in the passenger side. So that's actually to have approach lights. Uh, so if I were to lock the car, if it was dark enough, it would keep the lights on. But um, it's not dark enough, so it just goes through and does the light show. So you can see that's the lock light show. It actually happens, and if I were to unlock it, then it has a different light show that you can program so you can actually program this uh, just using your system. I happen to have the computer out right here. Um, you use that to program the e-light. And I also use that for the BMW, what is this software called again? The uh, 1.36 BMW software interface. Uh, it's just kind of a you know, basic box there that hooks up to the cable that plugs into the onboard diagnostic computer. So a um, couple of different interfaces there but anyway that's my ninth favorite hack for the bmw x3 e83 and that takes me to my 10th favorite hack for the bmw x3 e83 to get that i'm going to go here and have to pop the hood again and this is just something that any car enthusiast should do is to add the K&N air filter uh, to the air intake. So for this particular style, it doesn't necessarily help that much, um, but with the Vanos engine, uh, it's already you know breathing a little bit easier. Better to just open that up. So by doing that, um, that's my tenth favorite hack for the BMW X3 E83. Thank you for joining me. If this video was inspiring or useful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any other ideas you'd like to see. Thank you.